Hey guys, welcome to Big Joe and Malia's World. What are we cooking, honey? Chili. Homemade chili. This is a super easy chili recipe and it's delicious. So I will include the ingredients at the end of the blog, but here's what we got. Ground beef. We have onions, green peppers, kidney beans, diced tomatoes, tomato sauce, and we have a spice mixture here. And what's in this mixture is cumin, chili powder, and paprika. All right, first thing you want to do is heat a little bit of cooking oil in the bottom of your pot and put your onion and green peppers in there. And you want to cook these on about a medium high heat and you want to cook them pretty quick. So it only takes just a minute and you will see that the onions will become translucent in color in just a minute. All right, once you cook your peppers and onions together, you want to dump your ground beef in there. Now I'm using ground chuck and this is two pounds roughly of ground chuck. And the good thing about this recipe is you can cook all this in one pot so you don't have to dirty up a bunch of dishes. You can brown your ground, be brown your ground beef and your peppers and onions together all in the same pot. Don't have to dirty up a bunch of dishes. Because I ain't about washing a bunch of dishes. Seems like that's all we do. <laughs> Alright. Throw this around until all the pink color is gone from your ground beef. Now, once your ground beef is cooked, here's what it's all going to look like. And you want to make sure you drain it pretty good, too. Okay? So, all we have right now is ground beef and peppers and onions. So, we're going to take a big can of diced tomatoes. Dump it right in there. And we're going to take a big can. These are 29 ounce cans of tomato sauce. We're going to dump that right in there. And we're going to take two cans of drained kidney beans. And dump those right in there too. Now you can leave out the beans if you want to. There's really a lot of variations to this you can make. Um, you can leave out the beans. You can add more beans. Um, you can add, you can leave out the tomatoes and just add more tomato sauce. You can do about anything you want to this chili. As a matter of fact, our friends Ty and Joe from Surviving Tennessee have a variation of this recipe and they use bison meat and it looked fantastic. So I will leave a link to that in the description of this vlog. So make sure you check out Surviving Tennessee's chili recipe. Look great. All right. Now, once you get all this stirred up, you're going to take your spice mixture. And you're just going to pour it right on the top. No big deal. And stir this into the chili. Alright. Now. Here's what it looks like so far, guys. Looks pretty good, if I do say so. What do you think, honey? Looks delicious. Looks good. Alright, so. You're going to want to bring this to a boil. After it boils for just a minute, you're going to want to reduce it to a simmer. Cover up your pot and let it simmer for about 15 minutes. All right, the chili is ready and I'm going to let it cool for just a few minutes and let Big Joe do the taste test. All right, guys, here is Big Joe going to try the chili. It's a moment of truth. Go ahead and tell us what you think, honey. as always. Mm. I need a little 
even better once I dress it up with a little sour cream and cheese and a little sriracha and some cornbread. Some put cornbread mm -hmm. all up in there. It'll be great. <laughs> Big Joe's going to give this one a mm 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 mm. -mm. All right, guys, that's it for the chili recipe. If you like this recipe, please let us know in the comments. We'd love to know how you like all our recipes. Also, make sure to check out, in, in the description of this vlog, the link to Surviving Tennessee's mm -hmm. version of this recipe. They use bison, so make sure you check that out, too. And as always, we'd like to thank you for allowing a little bit of Big Joel and Melinda's world into your world. world. See you soon, guys.